Hello, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you're going to stick around and uh, catch up on a lot of the videos that I've already got out there. Some lovely, uh, amazing, interesting content on there as well. But in the meantime, you'll know at the moment there's currently a bit of an issue going on with the ABS light being on on the dashboard of the Mustang. Now we searched around for a couple of things, found out that the error code it was giving was error code 61, which apparently means there's a problem with the power supply to the ABS pump or the ABS pump relays. Now I couldn't find the relays to start with. A very kind person whose name escapes me at the moment, but I will pop his name on the bottom of the video screen here uh, from one of the Mustang forums, said that he'd, he'd managed to find out where the relays are and that actually in the ABS pump, they're either underneath the pump or they're in the back of the pump. So not wanting to get involved in that because in order to find the ABS relays, that would uh, entail taking the pump off and taking the pump apart and I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, so I hunted around and then uh, a local garage that we use all the time for the cars, for all the stuff that I can't do at home because I haven't got the facilities or the tools, etc. They give me the contact number of an auto electrician. Uh, I think it's DP Auto Electrics. There'll be a photo on screen here now. Uh, so you can get a get a look at that and get the, the contact details if you need an auto electrician. He's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Darren, I think his name is. Um, he's absolutely brilliant on, on what he does. Only took him a couple of hours to find out what the problem was. And as it happens, it's not a problem with the relay, uh, with the power supply to the relays. It's the ABS pump itself. Now, apparently, this is a common problem with this model of Mustang. Uh, a lot of guys in the States, uh, if you're watching from the States at the moment, you'll probably back me up on this one. A lot of people in the States just delete the ABS system altogether and go back to standard brakes. Uh, we're not allowed to do that over here, unfortunately. Um, it will be a constant, uh, instant fail on the MOTs as far as I know. I think once the MOT people or the computers that they use these days know that the car should have ABS, then it pretty much has to have ABS. I think I might be wrong on that one. Feel free to correct me in the comments if I am wrong on that one. Anyway, um, Darren, I think it is, at DPS Electrical or DPS Auto, Electri Auto Electrician, he said he'd done a little bit of Google work for us, a little bit of research. He'd found a place in America that does sell ABS pumps. Uh, he, the ones he found were $150 plus import plus shipping, obviously. Um, but on the lovely flea bay over here, um, I found a lovely lady, Jean, I don't know if you're going to be watching this, Jean, I don't know if you'll ever see this at all, but I found a lovely lady who'd also had a similar problem, her ABS light came on at the start of um, when her car was heading towards its MOT, and uh, she went out and panic bought a new ABS pump, and it turned out she didn't need it, so she was selling hers, so got a really good deal on that. So without any further ado, let's get into unboxing the ABS pump. And this is it. Quite a small little thing really uh it's well packaged so it's coming in perfect sizes incidentally just for anybody that's wondering the uh, the mustang is now currently out of mot altogether uh when we drove it down to the electrician to get him have a, a look at it obviously it had a couple of days mot left on it at that point gene you have packed this really well uh it did have a couple of days mot left on it when we took it down there and it was only there for a couple of hours so it was actually perfect timing, but it is now out of MOT completely. So it's on the drive outside, and sadly, the only place it can go at the moment, could have picked a shop at night, the only place it's able to go at the moment is directly to the MOT station. Uh, obviously, I'm not allowed to drive it on the roads legally in the UK if it's not MOT'd. So now that this is here, it's actually booked in in a couple of days' time. Look at the packaging in this, isn't it fantastic? Really well looked after, really well sealed. Of course I may have opened the box from the wrong end, which never helps. It's a heavy little sucker as well. Right, let's get that box out of the way there. And there we are. So for anybody wondering, what an ABS pump actually looks like. This is it. Let me just get a bit of a close up on the camera for you there. The sun's come out at the minute, which is brilliant. But uh, that's what the ABS pump looks like. I'm assuming the pump side of it is in there. Obviously all your, your brake lines go into these holes here. And uh, this part here must be where the relays are. That looks to me to be more the housings where the relays will be. And obviously 
your main supply plugs in there and then that's just um, connecting the pump to the power supply I would have thought so that's what it looks like and just stick that there and we'll get that wrapped up get it on the seat of the car and then in a couple of days from now we'll get the car over to the MOT garage get them to install this hopefully the car will pass its MOT it'll be back on the road and the person that owns it can start driving it again what a faff I wouldn't care there's nothing wrong with the brakes the brakes work absolutely fine just because the ABS doesn't work you don't need ABS learn how to brake properly learn to use your brakes learn to use your car properly nobody needs ABS the brakes work absolutely fine they've been tested without the ABS working and the brakes work fine all this just get a bit of paper that says you can drive your car on the road for another year and people wonder why none of my cars actually need MOTs. Never mind. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye for now.